Sonny Moore, also known as Skrillex. Eight-time Grammy winner, collaborated with artists from every walk of music life, from Justin Bieber to The Doors, ASAP Rocky to Monsieur Wazo and far beyond. Writer of one album and multiple genre-defining EPs and one of, if not the main catalyst for the modern bass music explosion. All of which can be attributed to or centres around his iconic catalogue, both electronic and not. Yet there's still a wealth of fantastic tracks beyond that that have never seen the light of day and likely never will. And in this video, I'm going to be analysing and documenting the cream of the crop when it comes to Skrillex IDs. I'll be going through them chronologically in terms of when they first started being leaked, beginning from 2009. I'll be providing context for each one and playing clips to embellish the points made on each ID. Beware the quality will be rough for some of them, but I suppose that goes without saying. I'm including both originals and remixes in this video. IDs that have surfaced in the last 1-5 to five years I'll only be speculating on with regards to whether they'll ever release and not playing clips of them. I've personally stopped seeking out IDs or even listening to them, as I don't want to have an idea of something before I hear it in full, and a new Skrillex project could drop any time now. All the IDs I'm discussing fully here I think it's safe to say will never be unveiled to the world at this point. None of them have ever had an official release. And so without further ado, let us dive deep into the world of hidden gems and unreleased wonders from the one and only Skrillex. We kick off in 2009 with an ID that many see as an important crossover tune for Moore in his transition from rock and screamo to EDM. The meld of guitar and synth usage props up the tune and represents the two different sides of Moore's artistry. The pendulum likeness here is clear to the point it almost seems like an imitation of the Australian band, notably in the introduction. Most memorable about this tune though is Moore's refrain of we all know how you love your turmoil. It is incredibly earwormy, and it kind of baffles me that he never gave an official release to something so infectious. The rock dubstep medley bringing in the final leg of the track is another striking part of it. It's sections like these that will pave the way for his work with Korn further down the line. There were other IDs of his around this time presenting a direct blend between his rock and electronic sides, like Lustbug for example. But Turmoil is mile and away the most renowned for the aforementioned vocal. A powerful dubstep remix of it by Moore started surfacing a few years later as well. Moving into 2010, there are a few full-length IDs on Moore's SoundCloud that never officially got released, and the earliest of those is Scream and Shout. This is a remix posing as an original, a refashioning of Scream and Shout by Live Last, but put up on SoundCloud by Moore as his own tune. Not dissimilar to what Moore did with DJ Ease My Mind by Nicky and the Dove for Ease My Mind on his Recess album. Music-wise, Scream and Shout is straight up one of the most hellish, relentless, and dizzying cuts that Moore's ever written. The vocal chopping is expertly crafted, and the heaviness is brutal and unpredictable. Each hit of dubstep feels like a punch to the stomach in the best way possible. Weirdly enough, the tune was put onto CD by Moore, but never released digitally. Next up, we have Make Things For Smile, a lighter leaning electro house cut that would act as a precursor for tracks like All I Ask Of You and With You Friends later on. Vocal chopping is something Skrillex was becoming renowned for, and again that is the most memorable part of this ID. That lead vocal motif would become one of the most shared and celebrated of his earliest years producing EDM. Father Said with 12th Planet is another highly regarded Skrillex ID that started surfacing in 2010. We've discussed his vocal chopping, but like Turmoil, this one features a full vocal from Moore. The refrain of Father Said You Can Find Me On Broadway became iconic, and again it is puzzling as to why this didn't get a full release, especially seeing as there's a clip on 12th Planet's YouTube channel of them playing it out together. The dubstep to go with Moore's angelic vocal is demonic and unforgiving, and across every section of the tune it excels. The track was uploaded to Moore's MySpace page and didn't get pushed any further from there. Then we have another one of Moore's fabled SoundCloud gems, that being Cat Rats. Described by him as Disco Step, which is an incredibly accurate depiction of what plays out here. The mix between cute, slow-paced instrumentation and very warped, cutting dubstep makes for a very surreal listen. It feels like the kind of tune an artist like Dezembro would put together today. 
Cat Rats is easily one of the most impressive Skrillex IDs of all time. Like Father said, every sequence is fantastic, but this cut in particular has a level of refinement to it you could hardly find anywhere else in bass music at the time. So many different moods and influences are brought together, but it functions really well from start to finish. It was reportedly originally made for a fashion show, but never got the green light for an official release. Something that still puzzles people today, myself included. <laughs> And rounding off 2010 we have Slat Slat Slats, another of the lighter house leaning tunes from the OG Skrillex era. It's a little more rough around the edges than others I've discussed here already, both in terms of idea and production, but it is another example of expert vocal chopping from Moore, and that along with the electrifying musicality and the heaviness gives the track its personality. This track was uploaded to Twitter and Twitter only. <laughs> Moving into 2011, we kick off with another one of the very best Skrillex IDs to exist, perhaps the most complete of them all, Disco Rangers. Of all the main Skrillex IDs, I can safely say that this showcase is best exactly what Skrillex is about. There's an electro house drop, a huge bro step breakdown for the second drop, it gets that perfect mix between really upbeat and extremely gnarly, there's a lot going on but it's really well cut and arranged, many OG Skrillex IDs overstay their welcome a bit, but this one is very to the point and concise at just over three and a half minutes. Strange we can't play too much of it because of copyright even though it was only uploaded in full to SoundCloud and YouTube. But anyway, here's a snippet of each drop. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. Carrying on from where we left off with Father Said, there's another raft of 12th Planet collaborations that have never seen the light of day. For example, Needed Change, which sports another very memorable vocal from Moore alongside some typically screechy, bellowing dubstep from the two. Musicality-wise, this is one of the most impressive Skrillex IDs around. True Gangsters is another monster tune between them, although it is disputed as to whether 12th was actually involved in this one. Regardless, it has one of the most identifiable drop ideas from the unreleased Skrillex discography. And finally, Devil's Nest, which is the least developed of their IDs together but still has a timeless feel and quality to it. This speaks volumes for how well they work together, and again it's just a shame that none of these were given an official release. <laughs> On that collaboration front, it's time to discuss another couple of fan favourites when it comes to unreleased Skrillex material. Firstly, Amplify with Diplo, which showcases both producers in complete full flow. The introduction samples Organ Donor by DJ Shadow and provides the perfect lead up to a boisterous member core drop. More than most, it's crazy to me that this one was never actualised and put out, especially given how wide of the mark a lot of their material as Jack Yu turned out to be. This would have fit perfectly on their debut album as a substitute for some of the other tracks we got there. Maybe the sample didn't get clear maybe it was something else altogether, but it must have been a good enough reason, because my god this is good. A great collaboration, I'm genuinely gutted, was never made official. <laughs> Another collaboration we can't go without mentioning is Zoology alongside Knife Party. It appeared for the first time in the Australian duo's first ever live set in Ibiza in 2011. Another member core banger that represents a near perfect combination of two bass acts you wouldn't necessarily expect to work together. Admittedly it does tail off in the second half of the ID, which is perhaps why it never saw a full release. But the first half remains some of the best unreleased material each artist has put out, and again it's just awesome that these guys work together. Bass music just needs way more member core basically. But that's a topic for another day. Arguably Moore's most renowned ID, one that a lot hinged on only for nothing to come of it, is Voltage. This track was allegedly due to be the title tune for Skrillex's debut 2012 album, but his hard drive got stolen at a show and he ended up having to scrap the album concept altogether. Some of the tracks intended for that album did end up featuring on his Bangarang EP and his Recess album, so not all was lost, but it is a shame that Voltage in particular was never rounded off. It's another really infectious vocal from Moore and another very memorable drop to go with it that would have been great to frame an LP around. <laughs> 
couple of remixes that surface from that year also deserve a mention. His take on Sick Bubblegum by Rob Zombie is Electro House meets Metal meets Cutting Vocal Chops meets Outright Euphoria, and importantly it's completely finished. Again, it's so good I just don't get how this doesn't get an official release of some sort. And then his edit of Born This Way by Lady Gaga, which honestly I feel like you have to really like modern dubstep and its metallic noises to enjoy because it's quite full on. This is the hyper screechy Skrillex phase in full action and it's fucking sick. <laughs> And to finish 2011, another one of the very best Skrillex IDs around, his San Diego VIP. This track was previously known as Nothing Yet, but was confirmed as San Diego VIP by Moore on an exclusive Nest livestream. It supposedly samples certain guitar licks from the Billy Idol tune Rebel Yell. It's another iconic vocal chop introducing the track, followed by some of the most unrelenting full-blown drum step you'll ever lay your ears on. I would argue it's one of the most exhilarating cuts Moore's ever put together, with an incredible energy and range of bestial sounds on show. Again, just completely unforgiving and drenched in nostalgia. <laughs> Twenty twelve saw more branch out into more commercial opportunities, and with that came more unreleased Skrillex gems. Firstly, Syndicate, which was due to be used in the video game of the same name. It's the backing music for the game's trailer, which dropped in twenty eleven. Although people didn't know it was Skrillex at the time, both Flux Pavilion and Nero also did versions of their own for the game. Each artist was given the same mini melody to work with, and each result is impactful in its own way. Moore's in particular is great for the string led introduction and dubstep swipes and jabs over the course of it, although the heaviness can feel laboured at points. <laughs> There's also Bug Hunt, a gnarlier and more refined outlay of his classic electro sound, which was used in the 2013 Disney film Wreck-It Ralph. To my knowledge, a complete full version of this track was never leaked, but interestingly, Dutch trio Noisier ended up remixing it in full years later. The Skrillex cut doesn't have too much flavour and personality to it, but the beat is certainly powerful and energetic enough. <laughs> Beyond that, we also have the less renowned Knife Party collaboration entitled Halo. It was leaked online in 2012, but played out by Skrillex in 2015, and was apparently intended to be an official track on Halo 4. Again, there doesn't seem to be a full version of any sort available, but what we can hear presents a good mix of hellish Skrillex dubstep and rich Knife Party musicality. <laughs> And finally for 2012, a track that I must admit I didn't even know existed until a week or so ago, and that's the Still Getting It VIP with Foreign Beggars. Oddly, this is up on the official Never Say Die YouTube channel, but has never got an official release of any sort, and I imagine because of that there are many people like me who simply had no idea it existed. And I must say that might be with good reason, as this VIP doesn't really stand up alongside the original. The arrangement feels clunky, and conceptually it doesn't have that spark and excitement that made the original so compelling. Nevertheless, it is still cool that Moore went ahead and put this edit together, at least as a celebration of the original. The undoubted most famed Skrillex ID from 2013 has to be Puppy, a one minute clip posted to Soundcloud and YouTube that was never fully fleshed out and which was the backdrop for a G-style Raw commercial titled The Art of Raw The Unlimited Possibilities of Denim. The introduction is hazy and alluring and fits with the intricacy of the G-style stitching visual very well. For me the brief moment of heaviness we get doesn't live up to the introduction preceding it so I've never really understood the immense hype for it. I mean come on this is one of the worst Skrillex snares of all time. But then again it is a tune designed for an advert and probably not one that's meant to be analysed and taken too seriously on a musical level. And we finish here in the two years following that with a couple more collaborations. Heads Down with Feed Me started to surface in 2014 and is another Skrillex pairing with a lot of potential. The drop ideas are pretty captivating, melding Skrillex's vocal chopping and Feed Me's jagged arrangement. It definitely is rough around the edges, but importantly you can clearly hear their styles working together. It's been played out several times live by Feed Me and has since apparently become more trappy than dubstepy. <laughs> Don't <laughs> go!
Then into 2015, we have Come Again with house legend Chris Lorenzo. This is yet another Skrillex collab ID that has a lot of potential and is just a fantastic combination of producers overall. It showcases the more party-oriented Skrillex style that one can find in official collaborations with the likes of Wewek and Valentino Khan. There's also a mooted Yellow Claw collaboration from 2015, but it doesn't have anywhere near as much fanfare surrounding it. <laughs> Now as many of you will know, there are also works with the likes of Space Laces, Moody Good and more that could drop on Moore's next full length project. Beyond bass music, tracks with artists like Missy Elliott, Blade, Lewis the Child and more have been rumoured too. When it comes to individual Skrillex IDs, titles such as Without Control, Ride and Fire and One Life have been doing the rounds recently. There's even the mooted collaboration remix with Virtual Riot of Face My Fears which many have wanted to release for years now. But like I mentioned earlier, these are tracks that I haven't heard yet as they're still quite recent and could realistically still come out. Tracks that I don't really want to have any idea of with regards to what they sound like before they're released in full. I want to be surprised. When it comes to the others I've discussed extensively in this video, it feels like too much time has passed by this point, that they've been shared around too much by now. That being said, hardly anyone bar Skrillex knows what his next release will be. He could spring any kind of a surprise on fans, so at the same time I can't completely rule out any of the IDs up to 2015 being put out officially. And the hope is that at least one of these, maybe even a few, will see the light of day at some point as we head into the next phase of the Skrillex project. 